Welcome back, another episode, another day. Uh, let's uh, work on this door now. Um, let's get the final bits done. Okay, I had a change of mind overnight about maybe how I did this, thanks to Bunker Sean. Um, thinking actually, he suggested get the A panel on. And so that is perfect and fits perfectly with the door and everything. Then worry about the inner A panel afterwards and just basically make that fit at the back instead of trying to get this, you know, because it's more important, I think, at the moment to get this to fit. And this has got to be perfect with the wing and everything. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think that's not bad advice. But what I need to do first is try and get this door fitting in the gap a little bit better and uh, figure out what I can do, what I can cut and what I can't cut. Um, yeah, all right, let's uh, have a bit of a play and then I'll catch back up with you guys. Okay, um, clamp the front wing on um, so I can sort of think about getting the A panel on. Um, the thing that's been in my head for a few days now is to sort this door frame out, this door out that it's, it's fitting so well apart from it just seems a bit high at the front here on this door frame. Uh, so I've had a bit of a measure up and basically that's technically give or take and that's cock 35, 35, 35 centimetres. Here, it's nearly 35 and a half. And I don't need much, I only need sort of four or five mil to sort of just remove the gap. So, what I'm actually thinking of doing is chopping the door frame down here and then lowering it by three, four mil which will give me the clearance I need at the top. Um, checking the glass, the glass is exactly the same height on both front and back panes. So if it fitted in the back, it should sit in the front. Obviously I'm not too sure why. It could be higher, I'm not too sure. Um, before I do that, I'll just do a few more double takes because it does, it does fit nice. Good old angle grinder comes to the rescue a bit. I think I could have got better if I kept cutting and did more to the door frame. But I think that's workable for now. Did try to pull it in a bit there, it didn't work, but I can still do that a bit later, I think. It's got a bit of twist on it. So yeah, 
Uh, double check, so I haven't actually got the thing any smaller. The gap is actually equal now. So no reason for the glass not to fit, whether they're supposed to have tapered it at the front and made bigger. Uh, we shall always find out. I do remember all my, I had a pickup years ago I made, and that had Mark 1 doors on it. Every time I closed the door, the, the glass used to pop out. So it must have had a dig at some point in that door. But anyway, all right. Uh, next stage, I think, is uh, seeing how the A panel looks and goes on. Okay, my cunning plan for the A panel. As I said, I'm not too sure all about Mark 1s and 2s, but this Mark 1, 64, um, the whole side panel here, the door frame basically, uh, looks like the rear quarter as well. The whole panel was one pressing, even the A panel, uh, because there was no join here. Um, so I don't know if later ones you just overlaid the, the A panel anyway and just plug weld it. I know that's what we did with a, a friend's old Mark 1 before, uh, but I'm going slightly different. So basically I'll just ground down the edge of this brand new A panel to about half its width, and then basically I'm going to put that on there and mark it, because I know this curve's good because it matches the door already, I've already seen that, so there's no point doing anything different. And so basically what I do is I'm going to mark that then, and then I'm able to then cut this off, and hopefully just butt weld the thing together. I might try and butt weld it from the back just to save me on the grinding and stuff. But we shall see. So that's my plan. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay, I've got it trimmed up I think. Uh, the uh, next biggest thing is to try and get this tack welded on without piss arsing about too much. So let's just clean a bit of the metal off and let's just give it a go. Nothing to lose. Alright, I've got just a couple of tacks, three or four tacks on there. It's actually looking quite good. You just see what it looks like when it's all done and ground down. Um, so it's just out of interest. Try the door on and see if those hinge holes are anywhere close to being right. Obviously this door's from a different car completely, so Too bad. It's not too bad at all. Oh, Try to keeps falling over. Do apologise. A bit close to the front of the door frame still, but I'm pretty sure we can uh, elongate a few holes just to allow it to. Swearing. 
too much. No, no, I'm pretty pleased with that. I've still got to do a bit more fettling around this area. Uh, fettling, I mean hitting it with a hammer. So yeah, door's slightly high at the top there outwards, but again, maybe a crimp a bit more. But again, they are pattern skins. But to be honest, that's pretty good for one of my restorations. Uh, as I said, just got to do something, maybe with this gap here, it's just a bit too tight, but the door may go back a little bit it was fitting quite well obviously it's just pulled forward a bit on the hinges but yeah lovely job call it it for tonight on that one um, bit of a short video I think there you go just a panoramic shot there not a panoramic shot but yeah just stand back in the wall for a little bit I'm quite pleased with that Doors fitting not bad. Yeah, doors not too bad. Definitely do something about that. Bob on! Well, absolute worst case scenario, I might actually cut the door frame again actually. And just move it back a fraction, but we'll see. Let's not get too carried away with ourselves. On shut lines. But yeah. That's pretty good. You can see the door step just underneath that, which is nice. Yeah. Ain't gonna make a bad mark one, I don't think. All right, cheers guys. Um, update next time. Woo -woo. Don't even know what's for tea, sorry.